Okay, here's just a little pre-introduction to the video. This footage here that you're going to be seeing was shot over two years ago from when I'm finally putting out this video. Yeah, I was sitting on it a while, but hey, life gets in the way and it happens. So other projects become more important and whatnot. But the interesting thing about this is I didn't get to film the final phase of the project. I only got to film the very beginning pro phase of the project where it was like almost a parts machine or a parts machine that Scott was determined to get going and then to a playable state. So I think it's still a viable video. Also uh, stay tuned to the end because there is some gameplay and uh, it's pretty cool. So I hope you like the video and be sure to check out our live streams and our huge catalog of other videos. As of the filming, uh, as I'm when I'm doing this one, uh, Pinball Mayhem has been around as a channel for almost five years, and that's crazy. So, a lot of good videos out there. Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. My name's Jeremy, and today we are over at Scott's house. And um, this is kind of a little segment I like to call, What's Scott Working On? So, he's got a new project. We're going to do like a before and after kind of thing. And... Um, We'll go take a look at it. Now, you thought I was going to show you the Flash Gordon, but what he's got is he's got a Project Bally Atlantis machine. Uh, based off the playfield, it appears to be a 1989 machine, and this is the state he got it in. The playfield looks pretty clean, but the plastics are a little scuzzy there. We'll just kind of do a overview of the playfield. Definitely some cool stuff here. And the cabinet's a little worse for wear, but it's a project. And here's the biggest problem. This machine came with no coin door, no shooter rod, no transformer. This is how he purchased it. So um, definitely got a little work ahead of him. We will take a look in the back box here. Everything looks to be there. See, we got a little issue up top here with some of the uh, trim that's on these models. But Scott does a pretty darn amazing job on this stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how this one progresses. I'll also show you the back of the play field here. This thing is loaded. Drop target bank. All kinds of good stuff. So, I hope you found this look at his project interesting. And we'll be bringing you more on this in the future. Okay, here we go. Here's an Atlantis update. And Scott's been working hard at it. He tells me that this game originally came with a specialized transformer that was only in this game. Yes. They used, uh, because this was a combination Williams Bally, it had, or it's got, Williams flippers on it on a Bally game here. So it takes separate voltages that aren't normally in the standard Bally transformer, and that required a special transformer. But what they did on other games was they used two transformers. This one's for the flippers. So that's what Scott has recreated here. And he's also simplified the wiring. And he's making some really good progress on it. So, hope you stay tuned for the rest of this. This is just a quick little update here. And uh, Scott's doing a really great job. And we'll be back with some more. Okay, here we are with an update on Bally Atlantis. Scott has been hard at work and he's got some things put back together. Still a lot of work to do. But he's going to show us what, what he's done here. It's looking much better already. Alright, so tell me what you've done. Okay, do you have your uh, handy dandy notebook? No, but we're recording. Oh my god. Well, it doesn't mean we'll use the audio, but it'll be there for reference or something. Okay, so um, half the problems with this game actually ended up being glass from the broken back glass. Mm-hmm. Being jammed in switches and receivers. So, um, as of right now, the game is actually up and playing. Nice. Um, we have changed out all the uh, 
inserts and have put color match uh, LEDs underneath the playfield so it's all bright. We did get a new piece of glass and trim for the back glass. So we've got, actually got the back glass in instead of, you know, broken and all crap out. Mm -hmm. um, all the boards have been gone through twice now. Um, power board's been recapped, MPU's been recapped. Um, we haven't touched the sound card yet because it works and we don't want to mess with it while we're still trying to get the game going. Um, we put the replacement ramp in, which we had made um, free play 40, so we need to shout out for uh, free play 40, so because this ramp was basically built from uh, pictures on the Atlantis thread, and it works perfectly. Well, um, as of right now, I believe we are 100 percent. We are where most people receive them as projects. So this is th 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 this would be classified as a project for most people at this point. <laughs> it's it's working. It needs to be cleaned. It needs to be rubbered. Um, cabinet needs to be gone over. You know, little 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 minor things all need to be done. But you could play it right now, and it would be okay. Nice. So, and this is not even close. This this is where we get to actually finally have the fun part. You know, um, we uh, and as you see, we're still having Hi, issues with LEDs. So I'm betting that that one. <laughs> this is a socket. I don't know if you can get this on the video for people, but those are the twist ends. And what happens is over time the spring compression on the ends are these two little tabs where they screw in it doesn't connect anymore because the, there's not enough tension so you need to pull those up a little bit take the tarnish off them put a bulb in make sure you have continuity between the both sides which means either if you don't it's either the bulb is blown the bulb is not making contact with the two tabs or there's something broken on one of the tabs and that socket's bad after you got you know a, uh, a clean read with the uh, DMD on those, you should be able to screw them in if they don't work. Wiggle them a little bit. Um, it could be anything on the lamp boards from bad pin, bad wire, bad socket, you know, just bad diode, run down the line. But you know the socket is good, and you can always unscrew it and try it in another hole. And that's how I found out that I had actually had a couple of bad sockets that needed to be cleaned up. Driver, We're working. We do need Jeremy to come work on the pop up first, as you saw. There was a little dead there, so. <laughs> We are nowhere near level on Cool feature about the game is the lift ramp that they use on Whirlwind and Pinbot and everything else like that. So it gives you an orbit, but doesn't uh, detract from the game by. You have an orbit tip work there.
Привет, сейчас мы ладно.